There are 10 colleges at UCSC. We have Cowell, Stevenson, Crown, Merrill, Porter, Kresge, Oaks, Rachel Carson, Nine, and John R. Lewis. The colleges are independent from your major and you're able to be affiliated with one college and live at another, but typically first year students are assigned residence at their affiliated college. When choosing your college affiliation, there should be three things you keep in mind. Number one would be the core course, number two would be proximity, and three would be the theme slash feel. As a quick side note, I won't be going over every core course or theme because I want to save you guys time, but I will provide links down below with all the information included. The core course is one of the three classes you'll take during your first year here. It's basically an introduction to university discourse and will have readings and writings dependent on the theme of your college. You want to make note of the proximity of your college affiliation to the classes for your major or other facilities that you want to be near. For example, if you're studying humanities, then I would live in Cowell. There's a map of the campus, so I would definitely look at that. We have 64 majors here, and you might be able to guess where most of your classes will be based on the names of the academic buildings, but you can also just Google insert your major here, class schedule, UCSC. Classes will be listed in order from basics to grad level. Just focus on the top half of classes and click around to see if you can get a general sense of where they are, but keep in mind that the locations may change. Each college has their own theme and architecture style, so if you can, I would schedule an in-person visit. I know what drew me to Cowell was the theme of the pursuit of truth and the company of friends. I may be biased, but I think Cowell has by far the best view and I'm gonna go cut to that. There's a giant field where you can see the view of the ocean and it's so nice to be able to go to the dining hall and wake up to that every morning. Plus the gym is there so that's pretty convenient. The campus is separated into mini colleges so that each can feel like their own little community. There are some stereotypes that come with each college and I know Porter is known for being very artsy and Cowell has all the gym bros and stuff. Of course there's diversity in each one and I'll have a link down below for a video that talks about the UCSC stereotypes but really try to take these with a grain of salt. One thing I should note is if you like cooking your own food then try to be affiliated with Crezzy because that's the only college that has apartments and allows first years into them. They're currently working on a project to add residence halls so there will be an option for the 22 to 2023 20, kids to live in the apartments then transfer over to the residence halls. I will say there's a cost difference because for the dorms the meal plan is included. Apartments don't come with meal plans, but you can opt in for one at an additional cost or buy packages with a certain amount of meals. Flexi Dollars is another option and it's basically used like cash except you get 10% off your purchases when you use it at a dining location. But for the apartments, a double without a meal plan is $4,860 per quarter and with a 7 day meal plan, it's $6,542. That's a difference of about $300 per quarter. I am using the 2021 to 2022 housing slash meal plan rate so that may change in the future. Alright, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys found value out of this and if you did, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!